Hello! In this video, we will have a look at the collapsed subprocess element, or just a subprocess for short. Subprocesses are used when one of the tasks within your process model requires a greater level of detail to explain how it is being executed. The use of a subprocess allows the modeler to provide the required level of detail to the end user, while not overwhelming them with large amount of information on one model. As an example, if you're modeling a procurement process, you might have a task for the creation of purchase order. The creation of PO requires a lot of steps and decisions being made to make sure that the PO is ready to be sent to the client. So a subprocess will be required to visualize all the steps of creating a purchase order. As with many of the other elements we have discussed in our course, there are two ways to create a subprocess when you are process modeling. Firstly, you can drag and drop the collapsed subprocess element from the shape panel on the left-hand side of the canvas. It functions in the same way as a normal task box and must always only have one inflow and one outflow. The second way to create a collapsed subprocess is to create a standard task element onto your process model. Select the transformation tool and choose the collapsed subprocess option from the list. Once the element has been successfully created, clicking on the plus at the base of the box will open a window where you will be asked to choose from the options of create a new process model, use an existing model from your process repository, or select a URL link. If you create a new model, then this will automatically take on the name of the task box. However, this can be changed if required. 